is what I've characterized as high profile, was a case in Pueblo, Colorado, wherein I represented a lady who was married to a narcotics officer with the Pueblo Police Department. It was a battered woman case, and our defense was that she was acting in self-defense. The charges were first-degree murder, death penalty, and solicitation for murder. The case was unique in the sense that she did not pull the trigger to kill her husband. She actually was charged with hiring two individuals, and we argued that that was a form of self-defense in, in Colorado. The evidence will show that Donna Yockleach was sadistically taunted and terrorized by Dennis Yockleach, causing her to act out of imminent danger for her life. She was acquitted of first-degree murder and found guilty on a lesser charge. That case ultimately became a movie of the week that is shown every year. Another case that was of high profile was the largest penny stock trial that I believe was ever conducted in the United States took place in federal court in Las Vegas, Nevada. And in that case, my client's firm was charged with approximately $100 million worth of obtaining illegal funds through questionable stock offerings. We tried that case for approximately a week in Las Vegas, and we were able to obtain a very significant result. In essence, my client was convicted of lesser charges. In addition, as far as high-profile cases, I handled a terrorist bombing case in Denver, Colorado, wherein my client was charged with making and comprising a bomb that was intended to blow up a national police convention in Denver, Colorado. He was charged in federal and state court, and after a 30-day trial, he was acquitted of all charges. 